If you just need to have a quick look at a file, opening it in your email or in Dropbox is simple and effective. However, this gets tricky if it's a large file that you wish to read or save, like a textbook, or if you want to organize your files into folders. To do this, you need an app that lets you store and organize documents on your iPad. There are many apps that can do this, and the one we're looking at today is called GoodReader. Files can be transferred into GoodReader through iTunes or Dropbox, as shown in the previous two videos. GoodReader can handle almost every file type, but it really shines with PDFs. Looking at your textbook with GoodReader is easy and natural. You can read in portrait or in landscape. Jump to any page using the scroll bar at the bottom and access the contents page at any time. But what really makes GoodReader so good is the ability to make annotations or notes on the very documents you read. Select any word or phrase to highlight it. Add a note to it. Find a definition. Or even wiki it. You can add arrows, type in text, even scribble on the page. No more worrying about keeping those precious library loans clean. And whenever you want, you can delete your notes. I know, it's pretty awesome. With GoodReader, you can also organize your files into folders. Selecting Manage Files lets you create new folders, delete or move files around, even email files to others. GoodReader is a great app that allows you to store, organize, read and write notes on all your documents and is one of the best ways to read textbooks on your iPad.